gonna shake the curls hello my olives welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name's olivia but you can call me olive some of you guys on instagram requested me to do a makeup tutorial on this red glowy kind of natural look it's pretty simple and easy and most of the products are pretty affordable um, if you've been following me for a long time you're probably gonna be like oh she's just using the same products she always does I am pretty basic with my makeup I like to do well I just use the same products for every look but I'm gonna try switch it up for you today so I'm completely bare-faced right now I feel like my skin hasn't been the greatest because I had alcohol for the first time the other day and then I woke up with some pimples but they're just little ones you probably can't see on the camera so I don't have any makeup on right now I'm gonna put a headband on and get started this headband's from boohoo.com if you're wondering it's just a plain black one sorry I just readjusted the camera I feel so pale it's getting cold here in Sydney okay so I've already moisturized I actually got this moisturizer a couple days ago it's the Neutrogena Hydro Boost water gel and I actually really like it so that was on sale at Priceline recommend I'm gonna prime with the radiance primer by Rimmel this primer is just really nice and thin it's not like one of those thick based ones and it's also supposed to give a more glowy effect rather than a matte effect I've got a pimple right on the side of my nose okay now that we have our glowy primer on I'm gonna go in with foundation I use the hourglass foundation stick as you probably know if you've watched my other makeup videos I also sometimes use the Maybelline fit me foundation but this is the hourglass stick in the shade beige So I just draw it onto my face like that and then I use a sponge to blend it through. What I like about stick foundations is that it's really seamless and it just kind of glides on into your skin and it kind of looks like you're not even wearing foundation. It's very like thin and natural. I've got rashes on my neck from the necklaces. Apologies. I'm thinking I'll do a jewelry collection video because that's been highly requested on my Instagram. Then I'm going to apply some concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me one in. This is the only concealer that I really ever use. I don't like it too cakey and this one's just nice and seamless. And I've just got water in this bottle and I'm going to spray my sponge with water. And to set under my eyes, I'm going to use the Australis Fresh and Flawless Powder in Medium Tan. This brush is from Thrive Cosmetics and it's actually a bronzer brush, but I use it for under my eyes. I like the size of it. And to set my whole face, I'm going to use that same powder, but it's in a darker shade. It's in Deep Tan. And this is the All Over The Face brush from Thrive Cosmetics as well. I love how big this brush is, it's a good size for my face and it's really soft. When I apply powder, I don't really go heavy, I kind of just lightly tap my brush and lightly cover it. I don't really go full into the area and make it thick, if you know what I mean. For my brows, I'm going to use the Mellow Brow Definer from Mellow Cosmetics. I love brow applicators that have the brush on one end and then the pen on the other. It's just like quick and easy to do, like the other one I have from Benefit, which is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. So I like to brush my brows upwards to make them nice and fluffy before I apply the product. And I just kind of brush through my brows with the pen. I used to feel in my brows so heavy. Why didn't anyone tell me? Seriously. During quarantine, I've been trying to grow my brows so they become more fluffy and thick and I just fixed them today. Like for two months, I didn't touch them and they were kind of wild. But I just kind of did the um, outsides today so they're a bit better. But yeah, I kind of gave up growing them. I thought they would get bigger and fluffier but they kind of just... I don't know, I think they got a bit fuller but this is as big as they're gonna get, honey. I used to use an actual brow pot with a brown like gel and actually fill in my eyebrows with a thick gel. Um, but if you're after more natural eyebrows, I definitely recommend like a pen like this. I like to brush through them a lot so the product gets spread evenly throughout them and they're more natural looking. I'm going to do eyeshadow now and I'm going to use the Sanopia palette from Mellow Cosmetics. They recently gifted me a bunch of stuff and I love their products right now. So it's a quite a warm eye look. We're going to go in with Nudie first, this shade here. And this is the Deluxe Crease Brush from Real Techniques. I 
I'm gonna lightly go in with the shade Sinopia with this Revlon Crease Shadow Brush. If you don't have this specific palette, you can go to your local drugstore price line and get a palette just with some warm orangey nude colors like this. And just lightly go over your crease. I'm really not an eyeshadow expert. I kind of just do the same thing each time. And then using the same brush, I'm going to go in with the color Brick. I'm just lightly putting it over what I've already done to add a bit more orange. Now using this base shadow brush from Real Techniques, I'm going to use that same orange colour and go under my eye. Under my, yeah, eye. I don't want to go too heavy with glitter on my lid, like I want it to be kind of a natural glow. So I'm going to use this Thrive Cosmetics Cosmo Power Highlighter in Liberty. This is an Eco Tools brush, I'm not sure, I think it's just like the eyeshadow base brush. And I always like to put a highlighter in my inner corner. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes. The mascara I'm using today is the Telescopic False Lash Mascara from L'Oreal. I have had this, I've been using this since high school I think. It's just so good at adding length and it kind of makes them all even and not clumpy. I feel naked if I don't put mascara on my bottom lashes. The difference. Okay, let's do the rest of the face. I'm going to use the Mellow Stardust Glow Palette. And I'm going to use this bronzer here. And this is a bronzer brush from Sports Girl. We want to get nice and bronzed up. I like to do it on my cheekbones and then my jaw and then on the forehead and the side of the forehead. For blush, I'm going to use the Thrive Cosmetics Cosmo Power Blush in Rosy. And this is the Real Techniques brush in 302. And for highlighter, the best part, I'm going to use the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. This is the best quality highlighter I own. And I'm going to do it on my nose. And sometimes I like to put a bit just up here if I want to glow, extra glow. I'm going to use the Maybelline Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara in Dark Brown. This will just help make your eyebrows stay nice and fluffy and not fall down. And we're going to do a bright red lip to spice it up. I'm going to use the Australis Lip Pencil in Lady in Red. And I get asked a lot which red lipstick I use. I have the MAC Ruby Woo, but this is the one I like to use because it's easy to apply and it doesn't rub off. It's the Australis Matte Lip Cream, and this shade is NYC. Looks like that. And to set, I'm going to use this Iconic London Prep Set and Glow. Perfect for a glowy look. It smells so good. Okay, so that's the makeup done. I also get a lot of questions of how I do my little updo look, so I'll show you how I do that. It's really easy. So for the updo, I just use a black scrunchie. If you have a fringe or short bits at the front, just pull them out. And I just scrape back the rest of my hair. 
I don't use a brush or anything because I don't want to brush out my curls. And I just drag the scrunchie around my hair. That's my ponytail for ya. But if your hair is longer, you can kind of fold it back, use some pins to make it into a bun. So that's all I do for that little updo. Um, yeah, this is second day curls, so I'm pretty impressed how defined they are. I washed them yesterday morning. My bun is getting bigger and bigger. And I'll just put this cute off-shoulder red dress that I have on. This is the outfit dress vibe. It's new from Dish. They kindly gifted it to me. And this is just so my style, even though... I love every style, but I love, I'm obsessed with off-shoulder things. I think it just makes an outfit way more sexy and like elegant. And I love the sleeves. They also have adjustable buttons so you can leave some open if you want. I've left some of the bottom ones open so it's more of a open summery dress, even though it's cold here in Sydney and we can't go anywhere. I've paired the dress with these low brown heels. I don't really like wearing high heels. I just find it so uncomfortable. I'm all about being comfortable. And I've just chosen this bag because it matches the brown in the shoes. But when we're allowed to go out, where do you think I should wear this outfit to? I just feel like it's really like tropical, senorita kind of vibes. I love wearing red and I don't wear a red lipstick that often. So I love this look at the moment. It's very glowy. Um, thanks to the primer, I think, and the foundation, they work really well together. And of course, the highlighter is so seamless and beautiful. Let me know if you're going to try out this look. Make sure to put it on Instagram and tag me. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. Let me know if you want me to do any other specific looks. Um, if you want me to use any specific products. I'll see you next time.